Every day, 200 pedestrians are killed or injured. Walking can be safe. Follow the signals. Start crossing. Watch for turning cars. Don't start. Finish if crossing. Don't cross. It could save your life. Please, look for pedestrians. Stop for them. Think of the impact you could make. It's the Windsor Jaguars paying a visit to the Viking Dome for the first time as a North Bay League team. Montgomery on a roll, trying to stay undefeated in league play as they get ready for their big matchup on Monday night against Cardinal Newman and the Jaguars hoping to pull off a road upset. Noah Orlick gets Montgomery going as he drives to the basket and lays it in with the left hand. The Vikings up one, but then Windsor beats the press deep as Adam Garcia takes the pass and lays it in at the other end of the floor. Windsor up 5-4, then Casey Myers drives to the basket. He gets the basket and the foul as Windsor goes up by three. Montgomery working their offense now. It's Noah Orlick on a drive and dish to Alec Raven, and he scores. It's now 8-7, Windsor by one. But then Cesar Vielma hits one from downtown. Big basket here for Windsor as the Jags go up 11-7. Montgomery running the floor now, and it's Alec Raven in transition who lays it in. He makes it 11-9. Windsor still up by two. Now with the score tied 11-11 and time winding down in the first quarter, Casey Myers launches one no good, but Jeff Freeberg is right there. He flips it back up and in, and Windsor takes a 13-11 lead after the first quarter. Windsor looking to add to their lead as we start quarter number two, and it's Casey Myers who flips this one up and gets the friendly roll. Windsor now up by four. Ryland Cobry now off the bench for Montgomery, gives them a spark as he gets this one from 14 feet, and it's 15-13 Windsor. Now it's Tyler Newman taking the pass. He drives the baseline. Nice ball control here as he scores. Number 15 makes it 15-15 with 4.15 to go. Now a long one from Cesar Vielma again as he is red hot from the outside. This one makes it 18-15 Windsor. Noah Orlick changes that, however, as he steps back and pops a three of his own. And we're tied at 18. Now it's Orlick again, this time on a drive along the baseline. And Montgomery takes the lead. But look at Adam Garcia. Nice spin move. He makes it close. It's 21-20 Montgomery by one at the half. Through the third quarter, Montgomery patiently working their offense, trying to get easy baskets, and they do. Hayden Brasha takes this one and scores for the Vikings. Now it's Alec Raven's turn as Noah Orlick finds him open, and he lays it in. Would be a big quarter for Alec Raven, but Casey Myers is hot still for Windsor as he hits this one to keep things close. Here comes Alec Raven now getting it going as he takes this pass in the paint, turns and scores to make it 31-25 Montgomery with 3.30 remaining. It's Alec Raven again now as Sam Averbuck shot just misses. Raven taps it in and it's a 10 point Montgomery lead. Colin McIlvain changes the momentum however as he hits this three pointer for Windsor as the Jaguars continue to hang in at 35 to 28. But Orlick finds Raven again. Raven with a spin and the score. And the lead is double digits once again. Keel Long now on a runner. And he gets it to drop. It's 39-28 Montgomery. As the third quarter winds down, Noah Orlick with another great spin move. He makes it 43-31. As we head to the final eight minutes and the Montgomery crowd is feeling pretty good about the way things are going. There's the miss by Keel Long, but Dakota Rowe right there with the offensive rebound. And to make things worse for Windsor, their leading scorer, Casey Myers, has just picked up his fifth foul. Keel Long pops one from the outside as Montgomery begins to pull away here in the fourth quarter. Now it's Jamie Iroz on a drive to the basket. He finds a lane and lays it up and in. Beautiful shot. Montgomery ends up winning this one 62 to 38 to set up the showdown on Monday night. All right, Alec Raven, our player of the game. 
close game for much of the first half. What was going on with you guys? Uh, we came out soft, and then uh, it took a little while to get out of Texas, and then we came back strong. Second half, you guys were able to get the ball inside. You made a lot of baskets in that third quarter. What was your mindset going into that quarter when you knew your team needed the point? My teammates did a very good job of driving and finding the open man, so that helped. I got easy buckets. I didn't do it. Defense was solid again tonight as usual. How much pride do you guys take in trying to shut down your opponent? Yeah, we take a lot of pride. We work at least an hour every day on defense, and it comes through every day, so we're happy to have it. So now you have a couple of days to think about Monday night. Um, what do you think? It's going to be crazy. Big gym, a lot of people. Yeah, ready. So yeah, right here. MVP. MVP. yeah it's going to be a lot of people. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a big game, and you know the crowd's going to be big. Yeah. How, are, how do you, as one of the guys that's been here for a couple of years, try to help everybody stay calm and stay focused? I mean, we've, we've done a pretty good job of just, just keeping focused, looking at each game, one game at a time. So we're ready for this game, and we're going to prepare. It's just going to treat it like every other game. All right, Alec. Well, good luck on Monday night. Thank we'll you. see you there.